Hello guys. Uh, welcome to another tutorial of Android. In this tutorial, I will talk about how to navigate between the activities. So, uh, before starting this tutorial, I just want you to again introduce about what is an activity. So, activity is a Java code that supports a screen or UI. In other words, building block of the user interface is the activity. Activity class is a predefined class in Android and every application which has UI must inherit it to create window or scheme. So uh, for this uh, for, for this we, we use uh, we create an application in using Android Studio. So uh, as you can see in my screen yeah there is a application with the name main main activity now i am uh, now i am making some changes in its lay ui so i am opening layout underscore activity underscore main so look at the design part initially it take time to load the ui So in this is in this UI, I am zooming it little bit. Yeah, you can see a text view which contains a caption "Hello World." Now I am changing its caption to the name of this activity. So I am using uh, main activity. Okay. Now uh, now I need to add this main activity in the string resource file now open your resource folder and go to the values folder folder inside it and open a string dot xml file here i need to define a string resource for that text you So I am string name and I and the name of that is which I just wrote in the UI main activity and value is name activity. Okay. So now open the layout folder again. Yeah. Now the error gone and we can see the green, the red highlighted part is gone. So now again open the design part. Now it's displaying main activity. Yes, this part. Now I am going again go to the layout file and adding one more layout, one more view that is button which we need uh, this button when the user uh, when the when the user click on this button and it, he or she will navigate to the next activity so I am giving it the width layout in the school wrap content and height wrap content and the text of this is click me so add string Me. Now again open your string.xml resource file and add click me string name click underscore me click me okay. now again go to your activity underscore main xml file and look at the UI so as you can see I am using relative layout and I am not uh, apply or uh, I, I, right now I'm, I haven't give I didn't I haven't give any uh, any uh, we can say relation to text view and button so I am just giving or placing this button just below to the text view or we can 
simply as, uh, place this button in, button in the center of the skin so I am using layout underscore center in parent and giving it value true now look at the designs yeah click me is on the center of the screen and I am giving the ID at the red plus ID click underscore me okay now I am now I am opening the main of main activity dot Java which is the activity of this layout and uh, I am giving I am intensiating the button that user in which user clicks okay button equal to find we ID r dot id dot click me okay now set the on click listener on it set on click listener new on click listener I am giving it anonymous type yeah. now here here we write a code to navigate user to different activity okay. so so for to navigating to another activity I have I need to create one more activity now again uh, click on your package name right click on your package and create new go to new and create activity and I am creating a blank activity uh, interface will, will open now I am giving it name second activity so I just created a one more activity you just uh, you have to you, uh, for this you just need to create on the right click on the package name go to new and then create an activity and select an activity of your choice in this example I just I selected blank activity okay so go to the sec uh, now in your main in go to your main activity and uh, I will I will now write the code to navigate user to the another activity so for this I use intent so before writing the code I just want you to give a brief description on what is an intent so intent basically is an abstract abstract description of an operation to be performed it can be used with start activity to launch an activity so basically we have two types of intent implicit intents and explicit intents we use intents in for implicit intent we use intent filter to create action of your activity so other application can call your activity via this action in, in, a, in explicit intent you make a call that indicate exactly which activity class you are starting within your application so here in this example we use explicit intent because we know the name of the activity and this activity is in within this application so we just create a new intent or we can say an object of new intent we create a for this we need to create an intent object of intent and so I am creating intent
okay new here we need to pass the uh, context of current activity so i am using main activity dot this and here is the class of the activity where we want to navigate so i am using second activity dot class now we have we now we need to start a activity so i am using start activity so start activity and passing the intent on it okay. now go to your second activity and the layout file open the design of this layout here is saying hello world yeah hello world so i am changing it caption to the name of this activity to here title second activity now again yeah now in the design we can see that this uh, this this text view contains the name of the of its activity so now run the application okay i need to add the resource in the strings folder okay maybe they are overlap when i created a new activity so again i am creating sometimes it's happen main activity giving name click me click me okay now again run the application so for navigating between the activities we use explicit intent we can also pass the values between them or retrieve a value from an activity so i will tell you this in another tutorial so first i'll check the current program in the emulator okay now you can see in the screen we have this is my main activity my first activity we have a button click me when i click on this button uh, the uh, user will navigate to another activity so i am clicking yeah now second activity so this is the uh, this is just a small example of or exa small tutorial of navigation between an activity how to make a navigation between an activity so i hope uh, i hope you guys like this tutorial thank you and have a nice day